Hello, my fellow life forms, and welcome back. So I want to fill you guys in on what happened back in August this previous year. It was an amazing experience. I got the ability to rent a plane and fly over top of the Carolina Bays in North Carolina. Some of you might be wondering, what the heck are the Carolina Bays? And later in the video, you'll get an idea, but I'll definitely make another video talking more about them. The funding for the plane came from generous donations from some of my TikTok followers. And again, guys, I cannot thank you enough. While in North Carolina, I posted several TikToks about my experience there and I want to show you guys that now. All right guys, it's official. On my way to North Carolina. See you guys there. All right guys, I've got an update for you. So for those of you who don't know, I'm in North Carolina here to view the Carolina Bays and you might be asking, what are the Carolina Bays? The Carolina Bays are these giant elliptical depressions scattering the east coast of the United States from New York all the way down to Florida. And they're so large, you can't tell they're there just by standing on the ground. It wasn't until we had the ability to fly until they were finally discovered. And, you know, looking around this area, just from the ground, you don't see anything. However, some of the bays can be seen because they're full of water. Right now, I'm standing on the edge of Jones Lake, which is itself a Carolina Bay. And it's probably hard for you guys to tell, but this lake is quite large. And there's been many different hypotheses as to how these depressions were formed. The one that I think is more likely is that at some point during the Ice Age, there was a massive impact into the Laurentide ice sheets sitting on top of Michigan at the time, ejecting trillions of tons of ice into the atmosphere, from the size of cars to houses to baseball stadiums. All of that debris eventually falls back down to the planet, pelting the ground so violently, the scars can still be seen today. And tomorrow's going to be the big day where we go up into the plane and actually get a bird's eye view of all the bays so we can really get an idea of the scale. And I appreciate all you guys for giving me the a chance to do this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. There's a Carolina Bay right over there. You would never know. You gotta be in the sky. That's where we're going next. Guess what? Here's my dude Taylor guys, super excited. Let's do this. Thanks guys. These are some of the best shots I took while in the plane. The whole flight was about 45 minutes, and honestly, that's a good thing because that's probably all I could handle. Being able to see the Carolina Bays from a bird's eye view with my own eyes was an experience that was so amazing, I just... I honestly don't know what other word to put to it. I had done a decent amount of study into the Carolina Bays before going up into the sky to see them and seen so many pictures and zoom into them on Google Earth and just, you know, they've always been a fascinating thing for me and being able to see them was truly remarkable. And if I were going to recommend two YouTube channels for you to take a look at on the Carolina Bays, I can only recommend Antonio Zamora and Dabbler's Den. Randall Carlson has also mentioned them several times within his videos. I'm going to let this video play out silence and make another video talking more about the Carolina Bays. I appreciate you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.